so I am back with a really pretty big Bath and Body Works haul. I've also got some Victoria's Secret thrown in and some Ulta. And yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it because I noticed I only have two bars on my battery. So I've got to get going. So the first thing that I picked up was this really, really heavy. Oh my goodness, this is very, very sturdy stuff right here. Um, three wick luminary and it's $59.50. Um, if you use a 20% off, obviously you can save a little bit of money or a 10 off 30, but 20% off would obviously be better. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just a silver. It looks to have like a snowflake pattern design on it. And they had this one in a snow globe. And I just thought that this one looked more elegant. It didn't feel as cheap. It definitely is sturdy and heavy. And so I went with this one because I just thought it would be um, more of my decor taste and it would just look better with my Christmas decorations that I plan on doing this year and yeah I just grabbed this one and I thought it would just look really really nice lit up um, I will show the snow globe up here somewhere so that you can see what that one looks like in case you're interested um, it was a little cheaper I don't know the exact price but I do know that it was cheaper than that one um, but uh, maybe about like ten dollars or so the next thing that I picked up was the winter white woods lotion and they also have this in the soap, or the Luxury Hand Soap, and the description on this is Feel the magic of the first frost with a fresh blend of sparkling bergamot, blue spruce, and crystal musk. Love the packaging. Again, it's got the glitter in it, which you probably can't see on camera, and this is just a really nice, fresh and clean scent. I highly recommend it. Um, I prefer the lotion over the Luxury Soaps just because both of them take a really long time to use, obviously, because it's a 15-ounce bottle, but I don't know. I just think the lotion is more... You know, I don't know. I just like the lotion better than the hand soap for some reason. I'm just, you know, that's just my preference. The next thing I got was some soaps. And I did not know that this fragrance was going to come out in the soap. And that is Sparkling Icicles. This is one of my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scents, like in the uh, candle. Because I think it's just a really nice, fresh, clean cologne type fragrance. And out of all the men's cologne fragrances that Bath & Body Works does, this is one of my top choices. The notes in this are winter citrus, bergamot, and iced moss, and it's just amazing. Amazing stuff. The next two I picked up were mahogany teakwood, which is obviously wonderful. It smells like Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Cologne in a bottle. It's like walking into an Abercrombie & Fitch store. And then I got winter, which is just another fresh and clean scent. I really like it. And the notes in it are fresh pine, snowy citrus, and white woods. The notes in Mahogany are Mahogany, Lavender, and Teak. I also picked up the Normals, which is Winter Candy Apple. Everybody needs a Winter Candy Apple soap in their life at Christmas time, and also a Vanilla Bean Noel. These are just staples and classics, and you need both of them in your life. You really do. They're just really great, Christmassy, festive fragrances. And then I got two of the Merry Cookie, and oh my goodness, it smells just like the candle in my opinion. I really love it. And I probably will pick up some more of these because I want to have these on backup after backup after backup. And um, the notes in it are, let's see, where is the notes in it? Oh, a blend of buttery sugar cookie with a touch of vanilla bourbon frosting. So how good and delicious does that sound? So I grabbed two of those. And then I also got some smart soaps for my smart soap dispenser. I got vanilla bean noel, obviously, like I said, classic scent. You gotta have it. Salted caramel was excited to see that one in the smart soap I really like that one and then also Mary Cookie which I was even more excited for because this is obviously probably my favorite soap that is out for Christmas winter holiday just love it and then I obviously got some body care right the first thing that I got was the frosted wonderland um, ultra say 24 hour moisture body cream this one I actually really like it and I definitely like it way more than the mar or the marshmallow the merry marshmallow kiss from last year this one wins in my opinion the notes in it are warm praline snow kiss jasmine iced ginger coconut musk and fresh nutmeg the praline and nutmeg are the two notes that I pick up the most I think it's just a warm you know kind of praline and nutmeg fragrance it just smells really nice and I feel like you know, why last year's was kind of May Marshmallow Kiss, and I thought that that would be more of sort of like a bakery type fragrance or a foodie type fragrance. I feel like this one is more of a foodie fragrance, if that makes any sense. Um, so I really do prefer this one over last year's, and I would say I suggest it, take a smell of it once you, if you go into a Bath & Body Works stores, because you might really like it. So it's a good one. I like it. And of course I picked up a Vanilla Bean Noel, because like I said, it's classic. If you are a vanilla fan... You need this in your life and you should go right now, stop what you're doing and go and get this because it's amazing. 
And FYI, if you're not seeing Frosted Wonderland or the Sugar Plum Dream in your stores right now, the coupon that I got, or like the um, the little thing, they, the mailer that they sent in the mail, the mailer coupon, is that they would be out by November 17th. So if you haven't seen it in your stores yet, um, wait till then because I think it should be everywhere by then. And then I got the Sugar Plum Dream Sparkling Snowflake Scrub. And I smelled this in store and I was just blown away by how good it smelled. I'm not usually the, the sugar plummy type person. I mean, it just doesn't sound like a fragrance that I would absolutely love. But this, however, just smells really, really good. Like, I'm just obsessed with it. It just smells really good, you guys. It's so Christmassy and it's got some glitter in there, which I think is... Oops, I got some out of the... Now I'm going to have to get me out a wipe and wipe it off because I sprayed some... Or, drop some because I have little baby wipes over here in case you wanted to know in a drawer so I can wipe my hands off if I'm swatching I'm always prepared um so I'm gonna have to wipe this off now um but it's got like little um glitter uh flakes in it which is kind of nice it just makes it look sparkly and kind of like snowflake snowflakey how like snowflakes glisten in the, like the sunlight and stuff and it smells really good and yeah like the beads in it are just kind of like more fine you know they're not so like they're not like the beads like in the, the pocket bags, you know what I mean? It's more fine and I just think that I prefer those scrubs more. And yeah, I'm just excited to use this. And the notes in it are sparkling sugar plum, winter citrus. Winter citrus is in like an every scent if you've noticed that. Um, snowdrop blossoms, vanilla orchid, and sugared musk. So definitely recommend this one as well. Although I was looking for the vanilla bean scr Noel scrub because there's supposed to be a scrub in it I believe but it wasn't out yet. Um, but I do recommend this scent over the Sugar Plum. I do think this one is better, but this is really nice as well because there was no scrub in this one, so I had to go with this one. I don't know if there will be a scrub in the Frosted Wonderland. Um, I don't think there will be. I haven't seen anything on it, but you never know. It's Bath and Body Works. They do crazy stuff. The next things that I got are some room sprays, and I got the Winter Candy Apple, which has a little polar bear on the bottle, and I thought it was adorable. And then I also got Holly Jolly Christmas, which is one of the um, candles that I really liked. Um, so I thought I would love the room spray as well. It's just a, like a fresh and clean. It's just fresh and clean, you guys. There's just really no way else to describe it. It just smells really good. So I picked up those two. And then I also got some more hand creams. I picked up the Raspberry Meringue, which I didn't have. And then I grabbed another Vanilla Bean Noel because it's classic and you just need a nice vanilla scent in your life. Actually, I actually already bought one of these, but um, I needed something to get me to like a $15 mark so I could get a free item, which I ended up getting this free um I do that a lot like I don't tell you guys but yeah I do several transactions and I get those free items because I think that's the best deal unless you have like you know a 30 40 percent off the best deal that I think you can do is to use those freebie coupons like crazy spend ten dollars get a free item spend ten dollars get a free item spend 15 get a free item I just go crazy with those but yeah the two hand creams really 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 loving the hand creams and then I also picked up this little bag just because I thought it was cute to sit around. How cute is it? It says, fa la la, la la la, life is wonderful. And I just thought it was so cute. And it says, to and from on the back if you wanted to use it. It was only $1.50, so not too expensive. And it was just too cute to just, you know, leave at the store and not walk out with it. So I grabbed one. Then I got another pair of socks. The last ones I got were the cat ones. This time around, I got these as a, as a free item. And I picked up the penguins. And I just thought they were really adorable. And they're so soft. And they've got the shea in them, in case you were wondering. And they just feel really, really awesome. You need these. There's so many cute ones to choose from, too. And then the next thing that I got was this wallflower. This is also a free item. I mean, how gorgeous is it, you guys? How gorgeous. It's got the silver snowflake, but then you've got like the blue on top, which just gives it a little like of a 3D effect, I think. And it's just really pretty. So I grabbed that. And then I also got this as a free item. <laughs> as you can see, I really do a lot of transactions. Um, it's the Tis the Season. It's the new candle. It's the 6.3 ounces, I believe. Yeah, 6.3 ounces. They're just, just a tad bit bigger than the mason jar candles. However, I think these are prettier. They look better than the mason jar candles, in my opinion. I think they go with my decor better. And yeah, Tis the Season is one of my favorite holiday fragrances ever. Of course, it keeps coming back every year, and it does for a reason. It's just Christmas in a jar, in a candle, in wax. It's like walking into a department store, and you know how you get the apple and the cinnamon and all of that, just kind of roll it into one when you walk into a department store at Christmas time. That is what this candle is, and that's what it reflects. And it's just a really great fragrance. So I hope these burn well. They're only single wick, and they don't have any lids, by the way. It's just a little paper, you know, you know. Um, yeah, 
The only thing I don't like about these is the label on it is a sticker. It's not like, you know, painted on or anything. It's just a sticker. And I hate when you can see like where it's, where it, you know, it's sealed, like the sticker right here, like where it meets. Um, I don't think that's too attractive, but what can you do? I don't make them. I know the sticker is probably cheaper, obviously, but still. And then I also got the coasters, which I also got as a free item. Um, these are $12.50, and it says here's to you on the front. And it's a set of four coasters, and you get like a gold, a pink, a blue, and a purple. And they're just kind of glittery, like all over the place. They're, the glitter doesn't come off, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but they're just really, really pretty. And again, they come in a pack of four. And I think it's neat that Bath & Body Works is offering coasters. Because I think, you know, that's kind of a unique gift that maybe you wouldn't think to get somebody. Because, I mean, you wouldn't think, oh, coasters. But these are actually, you know, pretty and got like a special girly touch to them. So I think that would make a nice gift. And then now onto the pocket backs. And my battery's getting ready to go dead. So I'm going to have to go through these pretty quickly. I got Vanilla Bean Noel. Lemon Meringue Cheer. This one is Too Many Cookies, and it has Santa going down a chimney, and it's the scent is Vanilla Cookie. This one is amazing, you guys. Definitely check this one out. And then I got I Love Mustache, but it says pomegranate underneath, so I don't really get the point of this packaging. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing it. Is it supposed to be? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not getting it. But it's pomegranate, pomegranate scented. And then I got Frosted Wonderland. Candy Cane Bliss. Cherry Pinwheel, which I love my cherry fragrances. I love this one. And Love Peach and Joy, which I was disappointed with. It's just a typical fruity peach scent. It's got a cupcake on the front, and it doesn't have any bakery note to it whatsoever. It's just a peach fruity scent, so a little disappointed with that one. And then moving on to Victoria's Secret. They have some new scents out. Because that was everything from Bath & Body Works. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. I got the Salted Caramel Pocket Back. The Merry Cookie Pocket Back. Tis the Season Pocket Back. And the Winter Pocket Back. So I am like all pocket backed out because I have so many. And I also got three other room sprays sitting here that I didn't realize. I got Pumpkin Gingerbread. And I did not like the candle in this, but the room spray is better. Um, Merry Cookie, obviously. And a Tis the Season. And I also got a freebie travel size item, which was a Thousand Wishes Body Lotion. I just grabbed that. And now on to Victoria's Secret. They've got new fragrances out. They even have a cranberry and a apple fragrance, but I didn't get those. I got the other three. I got Snow Mint. This one is the standout. The notes in it are iced peppermint and ganache, so definitely check this one out. It's not like Twisted Peppermint. It's sweeter. And this is a standout. I love it, love it, love it. Cannot say enough good things about that one. I also picked up Dreamy Vanilla, which you can guess is just a sweet vanilla fragrance. Also recommend this one. But if I was going to buy that one or Vanilla Bean Noel, it's going to be Vanilla Bean Noel every time. And then I got Warm Ginger, which I wasn't expecting to love, but I really do. The notes in it are Ginger Snap and Coconut. How good does that sound? So I really, really like this fragrance. It's sweet and it's just a good, good scent. Love it. And then Victoria's Secret also has new hair care out, which you've seen in a previous haul, but they were still offering the $10 introductory offer. So I picked up the Victoria's Secret Ultra Nourishing Conditioner and the Shampoo to try, to give it a try. I thought, why not? They're typically $14 a piece, but like I said, the introductory offer, you're able to get them for $10 a piece. They smell really, really good, and I love their hairspray, which I showed in a previous haul. And these smell exactly like the hairspray, so I thought, why not? I'll give them a try. And then from Ulta, I picked up this Philosophy Pink Marshmallow Buttercream Set. Um, look at this. It's so cute. I love the packaging. Um, it's got a little snowman down here. And you get the Pink Marshmallow Buttercream 3-in-1, the hand cream, or is that a body cream? Yeah, it's a body lotion. And then you get the lip gloss as well. And this scent is so good, you guys. It's like marshmallow and vanilla, but it's like, it's sweeter than like any other marshmallow fragrance I've ever smelled. It's just really, really nice. And I loved it. I, I tested it out in store before I bought it. And I highly recommend this set. So if you're looking for a nice little set or a gift to give or just, you know, to splurge on yourself, really recommend the pink marshmallow buttercream. It's really good. 
And then also from Ulta, I picked up this sweet little gift set. It's like a peppermint. It's a wristlet, and it looks like a peppermint. I just thought that was adorable. Um, and it comes with a loofah, and it comes with two of the travel-sized three-in-ones. You get candied caramel and peppermint pinwheel, which I thought was just a really nice gift. And these three-in-ones are so big, and I have so many, and they're just really hard to use because they're so big, and they take forever to go through. So I thought this was a nice way to try out the new fragrances, which I really wanted to try the candy caramel without committing to, like, those really big, you know, bottles. So, yeah, I thought this was a good little way to do that. And this, the price of this was $14. Um, so not too terribly bad, and I had a 20% off coupon, or... I either use a 20% off or the $3.50 at $10 Ulta coupon. So, you know, not bad for that. And it's a good way to try them without having those big ones that last forever that you just can't ever get rid of. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that instead. And then I think the last two things I have to show you are two nail polishes. Um, I forget what collection this is from, um, but it's a new Zoya polish, and it's in the shade Prim. And it's this really gorgeous purple shade but it's got like a blue tint a blue tint to it and has like silver kind of swirled in and i just thought it would be really pretty for the cut uh, for the holidays and you know it's kind of metallic so i don't know i just thought it was gorgeous so i went ahead and grabbed that and i also got one polish from the gwen stefani collection and um, that's the opi it's opi by the way and the color is in a holidays and i just thought that this was the perfect deep kind of purpley red for Christmas and I thought you know the perfect shade of red I just looked at this and, and immediately I was like that's the perfect shade of red in my opinion I love it it's just like deep and kind of vampy and it's got like a purple tint to it kind of berryish in a way and I was like yep gotta have that gotta have that but yeah these two are just like gorgeous 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 and again that's Prim and Zoya and in a holidays in OPI and yeah both from Ulta and I just thought they were gorgeous. But yeah, guys, that is everything in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will link what I can below. Um, I probably won't link every little Bath & Body Works thing because, I mean, most of you probably go to Bath & Body Works all the time, their website online, and you probably check out stuff every day if you're like me. I stalk the website on a daily basis looking for new stuff. Um, so I probably won't link everything. Um, because I know like a lot of the pocket bags and stuff probably aren't on there yet, but, um, I will link to like the stuff from Ulta and that kind of thing, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you've seen something you'd like to pick up or give as a gift for Christmas because there's some great items here and Bath and Body Works has some great holiday items and the gift sets are coming out. You get more bang for your buck. So yeah, I highly suggest checking out Ulta or Sephora, Bath and Body Works for all these little gift sets. I think that they're great. They make great gifts, especially like these little coasters. I just think they're gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shut up and quit rambling because I feel like I'm talking like 100 miles a minute because I'm trying to beat my battery. <laughs> and it's flashing right now. It's getting ready to die. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.